Today, I will be demonstrating how to adjust the valves in a big block engine. The valve train components in the big block are metal, and depending on the temperature, the metal expands or contracts, and is also prone to wear over long periods of time. If the clearance at these joints are too tight, the valve may not close all the way. If too loose, excessive noise and wear may occur. So how do you know when, to, uh, when you need a valve lash adjustment? Well, for commercial engines that run long hours under heavy loads, valve clearances should be checked every 250 hours and adjusted as needed. All right, let's prepare for valve adjustment. Remember to always start with a cold engine when preparing for a valve adjustment. To begin, remove the spark plugs and the valve cover. On the Vanguard V twin engines, you will typically see an adjustment screw and a lock nut on the end of the rocker arm. The center screw is the adjuster and the outer hex is a lock nut. The screw on these is often a Torx socket type set screw. Now, gather the tools necessary to loosen the set screw or lock nut. Locate the clearance specifications on the power portal, a repair manual, or owner's operator manual. Also, collect a thin but sturdy rod, like a pencil, chapstick, soda straw, about 10 inches long. This rod will be used as a gauge. Valve clearances on all Vanguard engines are set with the engine position so that the piston is one quarter inch past top dead center at the beginning of the power stroke. To ready the engine for adjustment, turn the engine over in a clockwise direction from the flywheel side until the piston is at top dead center with both valves closed. To check that you are at top dead center at the end of the compression stroke, both push rod ends should be level with each other. If one is higher than the other, rotate the crankshaft clockwise 360 degrees. If you can't see the push rod ends, wiggle the rockers. If both rockers are loose, you're in the right spot. One loose and one tight, rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees. Now, put the gauge in the spark plug hole, resting on the top of the piston. Slowly rotate the flywheel clockwise until the gauge drops a quarter inch into the cylinder bore. The engine is now set up to check or adjust the valve clearance for both the intake and the exhaust valve. So make sure that the crankshaft will not move during the next few steps. Valve clearance may not need to be adjusted, so make sure to check the clearance. Assuming the valve clearances on the engine needs to be adjusted, the clearance specifications for both valves are four thousandths of an inch to six thousandths of an inch. Let's start with the intake valve. The T40 Torx center screw is the adjuster and the 13 millimeter outer hex is the lock nut. If the valve clearance is tightened up, the center Torx screw is turned in and loosened if turned out. To adjust clearances, loosen the lock nut, back it out about a half a turn and attempt to insert the four thousandths of an inch to six thousandths of an inch feeler gauge between the rocker and the valve stem. If it won't enter the gap, turn the center screw out just a small amount and check again. When the four thousandths of an inch part of the gauge slips in, the clearance is correct. Carefully tighten the lock nut and check to make sure the clearance hasn't changed. Tightening the lock nut will sometimes change the clearance. If it does, loosen and readjust. Repeat the same procedure for the exhaust valve. To double check your work, turn the engine thoroughly at least two full revolutions and check the clearance. To finish up, torque the adjuster lock nut to 70 inch pounds and reinstall the valve cover using a new gasket. Reinstall the spark plug and torque to 180 inch pound. And that is how you adjust the valves on a Vanguard big block.